Mixed martial arts in the modern context is a blend of various martial arts styles. While a specialist still exists and will likely always exist, most fighters at the highest levels tend to be well-rounded in every aspect, taking concepts and techniques from various styles. The most popular styles being Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Muay Thai, Wrestling, and Boxing. These are fighting styles that everyone in MMA should be familiar with. Their effectiveness in live combat and MMA is undeniable. Today, it would be almost unfathomable for a high-level fighter to be successful and not train in these styles or something similar. Traditional martial arts, however, have not received the same praises, karate being one of them. While there are karate styles that have proven their effectiveness in the ring and cage, karate is generally not a martial arts style that often comes up when people talk about MMA. But as the sport continues to evolve, fighters have found ways to implement and adapt concepts from traditional karate into MMA. One of the best fighters doing this today is Kyoji Horiguchi. Horiguchi is a lifelong karate practitioner who got his start as a student and training partner of the late Kid Yamamoto. He's a former UFC title challenger and a former champion in both Bellator and Ryzen, where he held both belts simultaneously. While he possesses similar power and athleticism to his mentor, Horiguchi's approach to the game is influenced by his karate roots. As someone who is not familiar with sport karate, nor a karate practitioner, I can't help but see the similarities between Horiguchi and karate champions like Rafael Agayev. Both fighters utilize a long and bladed, almost sideways stance to bounce and stay light in their feet. Using their speed and athleticism, both fighters will often explode into a strike when the time is right. The wide stance helps to generate power and momentum in a short amount of time. Karate is a point fighting sport. It's semi-contact. This means that the idea is to land the first clean shot but not hurt your opponent. Striking too hard and hurting your opponent is looked down upon. This can result in a disqualification as seen in the 2021 Olympics. But MMA is not a semi-contact sport and Horiguchi has proven to be a skilled finisher. Karate itself may not be a full contact sport but Horiguchi and others like him have found ways to utilize these concepts in order to maximize their abilities. Horiguchi's game relies on his ability to control the distance between himself and his opponents. He either stays all the way out of range where he can't be touched, or he's in his opponent's face where he can land his strikes. His wide bouncing stance acts as a spring that allows him to quickly dart in and out of range. In karate, fighters often attack and retreat in straight lines. While Horiguchi may dance around the ring to force his opponents to turn and move, he has a jamming method of attack when he chooses to close the distance. This often leads to Horiguchi clashing into his opponents. In karate, what might happen here is that the fighters will clinch, the referee will stop the action, and that both fighters will reset in the middle. As that's not the case in MMA, a few things will happen when Horiguchi does this. He'll either force his opponents back, or he'll look to tie up into a clinch. Linear attacks are a quick and effective way to close the distance, but if fighters aren't careful about this, they can find themselves running into strikes. To deal with this, Horiguchi uses feints and fakes to disguise his intentions. This creates hesitation in his opponents and also allows him to get a read on their reactions. This can also move his opponents back, where he can then come forward and control the space. In the case that he's facing an aggressive fighter, Horiguchi will switch things up and go from aggressor to counterfighter. Oftentimes in karate, this is a method used to counter quicker opponents. Instead of initiating the exchange, some fighters choose to sit back and wait, letting their opponents do the work while they just sit back and wait for an opening. This isn't restricted to striking either. Horiguchi's wide and low stance allow for a more easily level change, creating opportunities for takedowns. As a fighter who's known for his striking, this is just another way to surprise his opponents. It seems that the riskiest part of this style is in the transitional moments of closing and creating distance. While the linear and darting style of karate allows for a quick and efficient way to move, it is also in these moments that seem to be the most dangerous. In karate, getting caught here could cost you a point. In MMA, it could cost you a fight. This was the case when Horiguchi first met Kai Asakura. In an attempt to dart in and close the distance, Asakura was able to time him coming in and land a right cross. Once Horiguchi was hurt, Asakura took advantage of the situation and stayed on him. Something similar happened in his rematch against Darian Caldwell. Being the smaller fighter, Horiguchi needed to cover more distance between himself and his opponent. Because of that, he would often leave himself open to be countered with a takedown. Coming into the rematch with Asakura, Horiguchi recognized his mistake and made the adjustment. He would feint as if he was going to dart in, but instead he would go low with a calf kick. Asakura was waiting to counter the dart, like he did in the first fight. Instead, he found Horiguchi on the outside, chopping away at his front leg. It was only once Asakura's leg was compromised that Horiguchi would then commit to darting in with his punches. As the fight wore on, Asakura became more desperate to get into punching range and throw. When he did, Horiguchi was happy to engage and land punches on his terms. Against Hiromasa Ogikubo, Horiguchi would break from a clinch and move straight back to create distance. Ogikubo recognized this and attempted to hit him on the way out. At one point, he was able to land and knock Horiguchi down. While it wasn't enough for Okikubo to win the fight, it was a moment of vulnerability shown by Horiguchi. 
Horiguchi. Sergio Pettis, however, did what Ogi Kubo couldn't do. In a fight where Horiguchi was winning almost every minute of every round, in an attempt to break the clinch and create space, Horiguchi left himself open as he backed straight up along the cage wall. Pettis recognized this and was able to land a spinning back fist as Horiguchi looked to exit. The clashing nature of this style presents other risks as well. Against Menel Kopp, a much more aggressive fighter, Horiguchi would look to move away and then explode into an exchange. This was an attempt to use Kopp's aggression against him, and for the most part, it worked. At one point, this caused a clash of heads that dropped and hurt Horiguchi. Fortunately for him, the referee was able to catch the headbutt and call for a temporary halt in the action, allowing him to recover. Because of the reliability of distance and space, Horiguchi does his best work when he has control of the center of the ring or cage. This provides him space to move as needed. While he possesses good awareness of his surroundings, knowing when and where to circle out, his style is less effective when his back is against the ropes or cage wall. The wide stance is key in allowing for karate fighters to move in and out of range when needed. Being pushed up against a cage wall or ring ropes forces a more upright stance. This can then take away from the darting movement that the karate stance allows. Even though he tends to be pretty hard to hit, as he possesses good head movement and quick feet, this hinders his ability to utilize his skills in the way that he wants. This is where he'll often initiate a clinch and use his grappling. Horiguchi often uses this as a way to turn his opponents into the cage or ropes. From there, he either look to exit and retake the center, or look for a takedown. Kyoji Horiguchi is one of the best fighters in MMA, and he is another example of how the sport continues to evolve. While styles like Jiu-Jitsu will never go away, MMA is a sport that continues to grow and new ideas are always being brought to light. Karate has always been thought of as a useless martial art with little application in live combat, but as Horiguchi has shown, maybe some ideas just take time to be implemented into the sport.